everybody has this one thing they love doing, but don't do enough of it. For me, it's urban sketching. And I really want to do this more often. One way to try and change this is by taking you guys on the adventure with me. This is episode number one of Artist in the Wild. Welcome to the Caribbean. Before we dive into this new adventure, I need to start a new sketchbook. There's nothing more satisfying to me. <laughs> All the fresh pages and the new possibilities. It's just, it's tickling in my fingers. <laughs> and with that, we're good to go. I am Joy and I am way too excited to get to the beach because we do not have an ocean in Switzerland. So first off, I sketched my view. To be honest, I was still pretty rusty. Like I haven't sketched on location for a while now and I never filmed sketching on location either. I also got a new camera and I've never actually filmed anything with a proper camera. So I'm really excited to learn new things and make even better videos in the future with nice footage for you guys. But yeah, for now, I hope you can live through my beginner mistakes, <laughs> including some mediocre camera angles and out of focus shots. Um, that was it for the beach. I did not finish it. I wasn't happy with it, but sometimes that's, that's just what it's like. And then I go back to it later or I just leave it as is and move on to the next page. The next day we went to the rainforest, which was stunning. Like I just can't with all the shades of lush green. It's just, oh, it makes my heart so happy. <laughs> Unfortunately, as the name implies, it did in fact start pouring rain. So I couldn't draw at all, which was super sad. The next sketches I made at the place where we stayed for the night there was a lot of cool like wooden masks and stuff for decorations, which inspired me a lot. And I also saw this huge caterpillar. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I finished a spread at the most beautiful beach bar I've ever been to. <laughs> like, it's just, it was so beautiful. <laughs> Everything here is like it's so vibrant and colorful and they live for colors like I'm so inspired I also got some cards with old rum illustrations because they look so fun and I really want to make my own But that that would be an entire new video <laughs> Let me know if you'd like to see that or anything you'd be interested in really as long as it's art related We also went snorkeling a lot and I saw turtles and so many different fish and it's just, oh, I love snorkeling. <laughs> so I thought I could draw like a dive log with the fish I've seen. Here's the first one. And spoiler alert, he's also the last one for now. <laughs> Look how adorable he was in real life. <laughs> Definitely want to make some more fish illustrations from the fish I've seen. I also collected coral bones, which were so relaxing to draw. I think I might color these digitally and see how that looks. It could be a really fun print. As much as I love to see, I cannot stop thinking about the rainforest. Look at it, like look at the waterfalls and the magical teal water, like how is this even real? It just makes me happy looking at this. <laughs> I tried sketching some cool roots during another hike. I only managed some wonky lines though. I really like this color of my pen. Like I haven't used this one before, but I think I'll use it more often. <laughs> I decided to finish the jungle sketch at home, but I think I kept making it worse. 
I just added more and more colors, hoping to turn it around, but yeah. To be honest, I wanted to draw so much more on this trip, but it was way harder than I thought. I was there with my family, so I couldn't really like stop everywhere. And I also didn't want to miss out on anything, so it was a bit of a struggle to like make time for art, but I hope to get better at this. I also struggled with filming on the go. It was so much harder than I thought. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's a learning journey and I'm, I'm so excited to learn more about this and uh, to make better videos as I go. <laughs> and I hope to draw a lot more on my next solo trip. The last thing I ended up doing was sticking in maps and leaflets and just stuff of the places that we've been to. It just adds some life to everything, I think. <laughs> and it's fun to do, very relaxing. <laughs> That's pretty much all that I've done. We'll have a look at everything in a bit. There were so many more places that I wish I had sketched at, but I took a lot of pictures, so I might do some digital painting studies or illustrations from photo reference. There might be a video about that, or there might not. <laughs> so let's have a look at the final flip through. At first I wanted to polish my sketches back at home and like include the proper final results because nothing was really done or especially beautiful or I don't know, at least to me. But I decided to show you guys a raw and honest insight into this trip because my sketchbook isn't always perfect and it doesn't have to be and neither does yours. So we need more of this in the internet. I think I'd like this illustration a lot better if I hadn't squished it on the top part of the page so it had a bit more room to breathe. So maybe I'll work on it a bit more and see how it goes. <laughs> I sketched this on a really quick walk, hence a quick sketch. The corals I actually sketched later, like after filming this, right before we uh, took the plane. So here's that final footage. <laughs> really like these, not gonna lie. And yeah, that was already the last page. <laughs> two weeks of vacation and that's all I managed. <laughs> but that's okay, it's a vacation after all. If you want to see the finished spreads, if I ever actually finish them, you have to wait for the full sketchbook tour number 14 video, or maybe it's already here by the time you're watching this. If you don't want to miss out on that or future videos, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, or if you have any advice and tips, that'd be very much appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.